What it's all about is engaging in conversation. Listen to me. Engaging in conversation. Get, getting them in out of your mind. You build relationships first. You ask a lot of questions. You be goofy. You could always joke around with your friends and be goofy. You get into business and all of a sudden you get lockjaw. You act like weird. Uh, honest to God, truth, I watch you. Uh, the amount of anxiety that you exude is huge. Uh, so you engage in conversation. Now, part of the key is I don't care if they get in at all because I deal with large numbers and I understand the law of probability. You can't say the right thing to the wrong person. It doesn't matter how brilliant you are, how smooth, how polished, they're going to ask another question and figure out a way to make an excuse not to do it or punch a hole in it. And by the same token, you cannot say the wrong thing to the right person. Because they'll ask more questions and talk themselves into it. And so it's all a numbers game. If you only deal with six people or talk to, you know, five people a year, the probability is that you're not going to find someone who's ready and right. Are you getting this? And there's anxiety in it, which is a terrible thing to exude because you can't get anybody in. Kind of an oxymoron, counterintuitive. Um, I've been on TLS and my pants are falling down. I am. Uh, anyway, trim tea, trim tea, trim tea. Uh, uh, so, what I do, and look, you have seen this many times before. Where's that video? I, my methodology is to live life and be crazy and engage with people and have fun. And when they like you, it grows, okay? And uh, I'm not doing it with one, I'm doing it with many. So I'm filling the funnel, not trying to get them in, they're just beans, you understand? I don't know if they're right or wrong, but I'm filling the funnel, is that up on the screen? See that? And that's the methodology of getting in a lot of conversations, okay? And if you're shy, have somebody with you that has a big mouth. <laughs> you know? Uh, <laughs> can you guys take a deep breath and kind of laugh a little bit and feel okay? I mean, this is, uh, so at any rate, you get two beans. You found two people that you know that you are talking to and you want to get them? I think I might get one and I'll activate because I already got one. Oh my God, when somebody tells me that, I say, oh God, it's over. We got two, we're activated. You know, the race is just beginning and you stall off the starting line. Pop the clutch and boot, the car stops. <laughs> Two. Boy, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to make 109 grand on these two people because they're going to go do it. So you start talking to them, writing them, sending them stuff, badgering them. Come on, I need you to do this because I know you can do it. You, I must succeed so that other people can realize their dreams. And you're one of the sons of the bitches that I'm going to make do it. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come to the meeting with me. What's the matter with you? Don't you have any common sense? <laughs> they, they don't like you too much. <laughs> you know? So, they tell you to get lost. No, they don't. They avoid you. They're never home. They never take your call. Okay, that's the wrong way to do it. 
Now what I do, what Weber did, what Frank did, was we filled the bean jar. We didn't try to get any of them in. We were coming from a point of enthusiasm, expectation, growth, success, and we projected successfulness. See, posture, Elizabeth calls it. So, we shake the bean jar. Now, let me ask you a question. You've seen this a hundred times. Let me, like, play with your head a little bit. What does filling the bean jar mean? Uh, you know, you look at, ah, JR does so many funny things on the stage. <laughs> I kind of like stole Jesus' technique of parables. You don't remember anything I say, but you might remember some of the stories and stuff. Is that, you get it? So, filling the funnel is interacting with people and having conversations. And from those conversations, more conversations, because they know people. Not trying to get any of them, but they go in the bean jar. Is this making sense? Is it? I'm not thinking about getting them in. I'm thinking about if they respond correctly and it looks good, I'll qualify them, okay? And qualifying is talking to them. Going back to see them, having some fun, putting out there some test questions, challenging their mind, okay, and not letting them in. Oh, won't you show it to me? No, not yet. You're not qualified. But I keep shaking them, bringing them to an event, introducing them to other successful people. Oh, my God. So I do that enough. And the nuts rise to the top. I didn't know who they were or where they would come from. I just kept filling the bean jar, shaking the bean jar. That one is Frank Kiefer. I didn't know Frank Kiefer. I didn't know Dennis Franks. I didn't personally recruit them. But one method is people lead the people. I don't expect anybody to do it, and I'm going to get under them and find somebody who will. It's easier for people to lead to people than it is to find people on your own. Okay? That one? That's Dennis. <laughs> and look what they became. Now, there's a lot of wisdom in what I just went over with you. I don't know if you get it, but shaking the bean jar is not getting people. Filling the bean jar is not recruiting. And so I engage in conversations.